just made it to Montana. We had originally booked an RV. I don't even think I told y'all that, but um, but the toilet broke on the RV. So now we're driving <laughs> a little rental car around and we used Turo. This is the first time using it. And also Sydney just turned 25, so she gets to drive now. So you all know that we are flying by the seat of our pants people. We do not plan things in advance. I mean, who gets to live like that? You know what I mean? Booking things two months in advance. Anyways, here at Glacier National Park, they want you to book things two months in advance. We are showing up and we have nothing booked and that sign back there just said, you need tickets to another park from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And yeah. it's 11.45 and we don't have a ticket. <laughs> we have nothing. We have nothing but our like annual pass. All right, here we go. People watching this that like actually plan vacations are probably like these two idiot girls. I mean, if I see, like when we tried to go to Paris, have your ticket and ID ready. We got our America the Beautiful though. Sydney brought cash just in case we have to uh, bribe. Oh, you don't see our reservation? It's <laughs> right there. Okay, so they really sent us away. I'm traumatized. <laughs> Sydney's really not happy. <laughs> but now we're gonna go to. East Glacier, there's nobody at the gate at 5 a.m. So, wait, five or six? I think it's 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. So we're gonna have to get up really early tomorrow to go get in the park early. Aww, they look cool. Look at, there's just some cows in the road. How cute though. Aww. <laughs> Are you guys lost? Oh, it's you remember that time in college there was a cow loose on the campus? Do you remember that? Yes. He got his tail wagon. I do remember that because I remember them sending out emails about it. Like, keep safe, cow loose on the yeah. campus. <laughs> you were going to heat up a hot pocket in that microwave that hasn't been cleaned since 1990. Nothing is wrong with a hot pocket from a gas station. Sydney is so above oh my God, the place we were trying here. to get. <laughs> food and now she sees Starbucks and she's like happy as can be. I got huckleberry everything in here. Huckleberry syrup. Huckleberry hot sauce. I cannot believe we're getting this. Sydney is not on the Mmm. Look at that. Do you smell that pine? I do smell the pine. Okay, essentially we were turned away from the hike that we wanted to do. So, we don't really know what we're doing now. Um, we're going on the sun road. You heard it. So this is where we started this morning from the airport. So we came all the way up here to West Glacier. They told us we couldn't get in and they told us we had to go this way. So we went all the way around, <laughs> all the way up to here to mini glacier, because we were gonna try to do the um, Grinnell Glacier. Oh, this is pretty. So then, here, they told us, you can't do that hike because it's too long and the bears will get you. But so now, we've gone from here, all the way back down, and now we are here. So, this has been a lot of driving today for a lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we hiked Avalanche Lake and we're so happy that we did because the day was just not looking great for us, honestly. We also ran into a really nice family, took their picture, they took our picture, and then they were like, hey, we have passes for the next two days and we're leaving tomorrow. And they literally gave us their like park pass to get into the park. We are going to the Paul Bunyan Bar and Grill for dinner. Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this big old door, I love that. <laughs> when you open it, watch the door. <laughs> okay, so Paul Bunyan's kitchen is closed. <laughs> 
Okay, we made it to our hotel. It is super cute. There we go. Oh, it's super cute. Okay, no light, okay. Oh, that's a heater, okay. What is this? Is this the light? Made request, what in the world? <laughs> oh, that's what you flick on the other, it's old school, like to show what you need. Oh, this is such a cozy little room though. I know. I mean, look at these beds with the bears. It just took us five minutes to find the light in here. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, good morning. It is 5.30 a.m. We are about to leave to try to get into the park before it opens at six. Um, and it's a 30 minute drive, so. But if we don't make it in, we still have that person's ticket from yesterday. Beautiful view. Beautiful. Like it is not even, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I don't see myself wanting to hike this. I know. I mean, it looks great over now, here. Yeah, now I have a little bit of hope. Like back there, we were just in that. We stopped to take a look at Wild Goose Island. Out there. She's cute. So the hike that we were planning on doing this morning, the parking lot was full, no spots at all, and people were parking like down on the side of the road to like walk up the road just to get to like the trailhead. So <laughs> we kept driving and now we don't really know what to do, but we stopped to look at a glacier really quick. Okay, we finally found ourselves a cup of coffee. I got a little huckleberry donut. It's trying to really turn our day around. Look at this guy. Okay, we did our makeup in the car while we were waiting. How do we look? How do we look? Much better. <laughs> it is now 9 a.m. So we drove like two and a half hours. We started driving at 5.30. We made some stops. We are now at Grinnell Glacier, which is what we really wanted to do yesterday, but they told us that we, we couldn't because bear. we'd get eaten by a bear, yeah, so. Eaten by a bear? It's eaten. Eaten by a bear. <laughs> okay, we are back at Mini Glacier today, and we're gonna try to take the boat to hike the Grinnell Glacier Trail because we both really wanted to do that. And also, it is a much nicer day today. Lots of poop on the ground. This is a super cute hotel though. Feels like we're in Austria or something right now. Okay, so we got here and tried to get on the boat ride to take us like halfway to Grinnell Glacier so that we wouldn't have to hike the whole like 10, 11 miles. There is the boat. We are not going. So it was basically like a flying standby, like we were on a waiting list and then they, we didn't make it on obviously. So they put us on the next one on the waiting list and there were like 16 people ahead of us. So we didn't like our chances. So here we are, we're gonna hike the whole thing. I want him to find the other one. There he goes. He found it. How cold do you think that water is? Like what, negatives? It has to be 40 degrees, 30 something. It took us three hours look, look to hike here. Coffee. Three hours, four minutes. I burned 5.97 miles. All right, we're heading out. So pretty. We think it's gonna take us like two hours to get back down. That was the longest hike of my life. I can't wait to get pizza today. That's like our tradition.
Aww. Okay, we made it back from our hike and we got these little um, like personal pizzas from the gift shop here. But they were absolutely delicious and thankfully we made it back in time before the rain started. It's literally pouring now. This is cute. I think these are like the pictures that I saw. We are just wandering around downtown Whitefish because we gotta leave here in like an hour. This is really cute. Uh-huh. This is so cute. I love this. This reminds me of the stockyards. Only $355. <laughs> Those are really pretty. Wear a hat with me. <laughs> cute. <laughs> okay, we're dropping the car off. Since it's we don't have to go through the whole like rental car process, we just parked in the parking lot and put the key on the tire. <laughs> All right, so it is about 5.30, just got back from Montana. It was like 100 degrees when we landed back in Dallas and I had all these layers on because Montana was so cold. So big weather change from where we just were, definitely. But the flight was good, we got to sit together and I'm very happy to be home. But it was a really good trip and I think we had enough time there. And if we wanted to do a hike today, there is no way I could have done a hike after yesterday's hike. I'm so sore. But I'm actually leaving at seven o'clock in the morning and I'm going to Austin for one of my friend's birthdays. We're gonna float the river and I'm so excited, but I haven't packed yet. So I'm gonna get all unpacked and pack up for that. And that is gonna be it for this video. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.